Trishan, we'll discuss all of this and more. Uh, we have Major Shah, who's live with us. Major Shah, how do you view this latest development? Do you think uh, that an erstwhile colonizer like the UK is now ready uh, for someone who is of Indian origin, who's non-white, non-Christian, uh, who while taking his oath, uh, even to be the finance minister, quotes extensively uh, from the Gita to be the next prime minister of the country? I have a strong feeling, Minakshi, that yes, Rishi Sunak, who is leading right now with 150 Tory lawmakers, I mean, they are in support of him. He was uh, a Chandra program, maybe? 82 votes. Listrus, who is very, very popular. Listrus is on the news many or many times with 71 votes. Kemi Bedendok on 58 votes. And Tom Tugendar on 31 votes. So, yes, most certainly, Rishi Sunak. If all goes well, the person of Indian origin, even though he may not be a white, white as per they say, but yes, he has a very, very high probability. And uh, yeah, so that's what I, I would bet my, my pennies on. Uh, mm -hmm. But what do you think it would mean for India? End of the day, the Conservative Party has been warming up to India. Does it really make a difference uh, if it is, uh, you know, uh, say, uh, a Penny Mordwund or, or Rishi Sunak who becomes uh, the Prime Minister of UK? What does it really mean uh, for one, the Indian diaspora and of course for all of us back home? Absolutely, I mean, actually it would make a difference emotionally. Like, you know, like you say that, oh, so-and-so is there in... Uh, so as a parliament, he is from my village. We often talk like that. We often feel that. Oh, kuch kaam ho, to batana pe apne hai. Though it's not that he will have his loyalties, his, uh, he will be pro-UK totally, I mean, obviously. And rightly so. He has to look at the interest of his country, which he is heading. But at the end of the day, yet yeah, the soft corner still remains that my roots are from there, I come from there. And so for the sentiment and the emotional attachment of the roots, most certainly they would it would make uh, 1920, it cannot make 121 or 2 out of 20, but certainly 19 to 20, it would make a difference somewhere in action. Hmm. Uh, you think it's going to make a difference, uh, but you know, to play the devil's advocate here, look at a Priti Patel. Uh, we all had high hopes of her, but the moment she assumed office, uh, she tweaked uh, the immigration laws, which uh, certainly put people of Indian origin who wanted to settle in the UK at a great disadvantage. Would you say that uh, we are making a big fuss perhaps about his Indian roots? Uh, would it go beyond optimism? Are you hopeful? Oh, well, uh, to be very, very honest, uh, I'm not too hopeful, I'm not too pessimistic either, not too optimistic, now I'm too pessimistic, but I am just waiting and watching and uh, it's better that we have someone who may not really overtly support us, who may not come out openly and say and favor us, that's a different thing, but it's always better to have, as I say, a known devil is better than an unknown angel. It's often said that. So. It's always better that, you know, we have someone who we know who has Indian origin. Well, it's not about being fast. We are proud of the fact that, you know, we have, uh, look at the second highest post in U.S. or the office is of an Indian. Now the Prime Minister in UK could be an Indian as well. So it's a matter of pride for us. And yes, the person many times would also like to show that I am not favoring anyone overtly. Mm -hmm. I am very neutral. So that is the reason, as you, the example you mentioned earlier, that could happen, yes. But in the heart of hearts, a soft corner will always remain and that no one can change. That is, a, that is the human psychology with us. All right, of course, uh, all bets are being placed as of now on uh, Rishi Sunak. We'll have to wait and watch if he's uh, going to be the next UK PM, if he's going to be the one who replaces Boris Johnson. For now, uh, thank you, Major Shah, for joining us on the broadcast.